Hello, my friends. It's me, Dr. Cottle, with you. Let's take a few breaths just to settle down, as always we do. And then I'm going to share a book with you. So, let's sit comfortably. Feel the seat against your back. Feel the ground against your feet. Or if you decide to sit... Um, in the lotus position, like to pull your legs up, feel how it feels, all the muscles that are maybe stretching, and just take a deep breath in. I'm going to close my eyes, not to get distracted. I'm going to take a deep breath in and feel how my lungs are spreading and how my shoulders are going up because my lungs are being filled up with air. Hold it and breathe out as slow as I can. And just feel how my shoulders are dropping. And just bringing all the awareness of my body. And I'm going to pay attention to my breath just for a few moments. And settle after a long week and after a long day. And just take a few breaths and feel how it feels. I will try to name my feelings. But I'm not going to think about that. I think I'm excited that it's Friday. I'm excited that it's a wonderful sunny day. I think I feel a bit tired. And I also feel happy. Just because. I'm going to take another deep breath in. And out. Just sometimes taking a few breaths just like that and realizing how you might feel in the moment will help you to slow down and, and feel better later. Remember, name it to tame it. If we're not aware, aware of our feelings, we will not be able to find our happiness. We will continue being stressed and not realize and act out and not know why we feel like that. Sometimes we don't need even to know why we feel certain way. We just need to realize what we're feeling. Now, I'm going to share a book with you. And it does look like I can share it on my screen. But it's called The Self-Disciplined Penguin. Penguin had such amazing habits. His friends were also impressed and his parents and teachers never had to scold him. If Penguin had math homework to finish, he would simply smile and say, Oh, I work hard. I play hard. If I finish my math homework first, I can relax without a worry in the world and play video games. If Penguin had to walk the dog early in the morning, he would just tell himself, Getting an early start on the day is amazing. So much more can be accomplished, which is true. When Penguin had, had to clean his room every Sunday morning, he would think to himself, hmm, easy. It doesn't take long and it's better to do things little by little instead of having them pile up at the end. Hmm, some of you I know struggle with asynchronous um. Mondays, so it's better to do piece by piece rather than realizing on Fridays <sighs> some of your work is not completed. And when Penguin knew he had to practice the violin each day, he would struggle his shoulders. He would shrug his shoulders and and say, I am so lucky to be able to work toward my goal of being an amazing violinist.
Indeed, Penguin had amazing habits and willpower and self-discipline. But he wasn't always like this. In fact, he used to be the opposite and always ran away from all of his chores and duties. Once upon a time, Penguin used to be quite impatient and careless. Penguin would hide his violin music. He wouldn't clean his room for months. Oops. He would do his homework at the last moment and he would wait hours to walk his dog. Poor puppy. And worst of all, Penguin was frustrated, had a temper, and wasn't sure how to change things for the better. Until one day, Fox, a friend of Penguin's, came to visit him after school to work together on a school project about dinosaurs. For, Fox suggested a fun and easy way to change his thinking. Hmm, do you want to know? I'm never worried and get things done so quickly and easy. I use, I use some things called the two-minute rule. You can count to two minutes, right? I know you can, no problem. All you need to do is do the task for two minutes. That's it. That's your goal. And ignore everything else. It couldn't be easier than that. We can do almost anything for two minutes, right? It's so easy. But when you do something for two minutes, something magic happens. You get momentum. The tough part is getting started. Once you get started, the tough part is stopping. You'll probably keep going until you're done. At first, Penguin didn't believe it. Everything he did it like... Mm, to do felt like huge bundles he had to push through. But he trusted and believed Fox. So the next morning, when he had to walk the dog, he told himself, hm, just two minutes, no problem. So he started counting one, two, three, four, five. Huh, Ed, and do you know what happened? It worked. Penguin stopped counting after 47 seconds and he ended up walking the dog for 20 minutes. It wasn't hard at all. And, he, and the most difficult part was getting started. Penguin felt like he had found a secret code. The next day, Penguin had to do the same with cleaning his room. Just like the day before, he started counting. One... Two, three, four, five. And just like the day before, he worked. it worked like a charm. From the day on, whenever Penguin had something he didn't want to do, he just started counting to 120 because that's 20, 120 seconds means two minutes. And because he... And because he knew the hard part just getting started and he never had a problem with his willpower and self-discipline again. The next, the two-minute rule just might be your secret weapon to achieving your goals and getting what you want. Now, remember, just two minutes, start counting and doing your work for at least 120 seconds and watch the magic. See you next week. Take care and love yourself.